Good evening. He took a deal on drunk driving charges just last year. But police say that didn't stop an accused drunk driver from causing a crash that injured three New Mexico college students this weekend. News 13's Chris McKee has their story. Jessica, the group was heading to a New Mexico State football tailgate when out of nowhere, a driver with police say who police say had an open beer can in his car turned in front of their car, causing the crash. All I knew was I could start smelling smoke from the airbag. They were heading to a tailgate ahead of Saturday's NMSU Wyoming game when in an instant their car was turned into twisted metal. My whole neck and stuff was just burning. My hands hurt. Everybody, please be careful tonight. Um, there's a lot of crazy drivers already. Cell phone video taken by driver Gabby Cafaro moments after the violent crash shows what happened to her car Saturday night around 7 when a man who police say was drunk caused the wreck. She started screaming that she couldn't feel her leg and my sister was crying. Gabby, her sister and a friend were in this silver SUV on a Las Cruces road when police say this man, 48 year old Robert Alarcon, caused the crash. A criminal complaint says Alarcon didn't yield and turned his SUV in front of the SUV with the three girls inside. The cars collided nearly head on, injuring each of the girls. It was probably the worst call I could make. That's all I could think about that. And then maybe something happened to Gabby. These girls are innocent kids. Alarcon told police he had four 24-ounce beers within the hour. He's also accused of hitting a light pole that fell into this house before the crash. For Mom Mary Lou, the crash is a reminder of how drunk driving can affect anyone at any time. Don't give him an opportunity to do this again and possibly kill somebody. Now, the suspect, Alarcon, has at least one other drunk driving case on his record. He pleaded no contest last year in a DWI case and was originally in 2016. Jessica? All right. Thank you, Chris. The three girls who were hit in the crash were all wearing their seatbelts, and they are recovering from their injuries.